Hello, uh, Chaplain Dell here today, and I wanted to do a little talk about called and chosen. And um, let me get my webcam done. So stop recording. I'm going to try to go ahead and keep recording, even though it tells me it's uh, not doing well. I run into this problem. But anyway, I, I want to talk a little bit about my personal experience and uh, experiencing and knowing being elect of God, call of God, chosen of God for his purpose as opposed to people who are not and uh, this is a if you can imagine this is a very sticky situation um, when I was a child I used to have spiritual events happen to me down on in the lower I had a split level we lived in a split level home and I was in my own room and I'd go to bed at night and I've had like broomstick type feeling sticking me under the mattress they were obviously now I understand demonic attacks I experienced uh, poltergeist phenomenons uh, all kinds of stuff that were uh, was very uh, very sticky to say the least and I'd run up to my parents who were Christian people uh, church people very big in the church and of course they say, well, it's your, it's your imagination, as most parents would do to a child, and uh, just go to sleep. Uh, but anyway, I experienced <clears throat> resistance from the enemy from the time I was uh, at least an adolescence and uh, moved into manhood. But the whole time, uh, I was growing in grace uh, in the Lord without realizing uh, I was doing anything. In other words, God was doing a work in me. And then, of course, like most people, I moved into the church. Uh, and the church teaches, you know, um, well, we have, to, we have to fellowship with other believers. Well, we absolutely do. But the problem is a lot of people that claim his name really don't know him. And it's taken me a long time to understand this. Um, and there's a lot of false teachers, a lot of false prophets that Jesus said, especially in the end, the age of apostasy that we're living in a day, the age of delusion would come. Um, and then, uh, so, you know, they, <clears throat> it's interesting because they always wanted me to join the church. And I always had this feeling, you know, I don't want to sit in the church and, and wear my wool pants and blazer. Uh, it was, uh, it, 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 it you know, it made me feel um, uncomfortable. Uh, you know, the uh, upper middle class church thing, it was a kind of stuffy feeling to me, you know. So I went into the Coast Guard and uh, I pretty much grew up on that cutter with, uh, with a lot of uh, very rough type of people and uh, saw things and did things, carried bodies. Um, did uh, medevacs uh, besides my engineering skills and uh, it wasn't really that pleasant but uh, you know it was uh, I was that's why I started serving my country when I got out of the Coast Guard I ended up in a street ministry with a pastor who had 22 years in seminary and the interesting thing is God led me to this man because he instructed me in the spiritual world he had, you know, he, he was a great Bible student. He had great theology, great doctrinal understanding, church history, all that kind of thing. So, and of course, I had been exposed to this all my life. And we're taught, you know, to be a Christian, you know, they use the Bible, study to show yourself approved, which you certainly do. This is a New Geneva Study Bible. I have about well, 20 of them here. And this is the most recent one I've gotten, which is uh, the King James. Uh, and it's a subject really, really written big, so I can read it. My eyes are getting old. But it's a King James Version. And I always felt that uh, the King James Version was for um, <laughs> kind of uh, ignorant people of the Bible. You know, we use... Uh, the American Standard, which is written more precise, or, you know, there's different types of Bibles that people like to use, and 
and compare the scriptures. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, uh, reading anything really, as, far, as long as the Lord's leading you to do it and the Lord's leading you in the truth. But the problem is people become academics. As I'm cutting to the chase here, people become Bible academics and they think that they are therefore spiritual authority because men have uh, validated them. Men have, uh, have said, well, you know, you, you learned all these correct doctrines and all, and then now we're going to make you a pastor or whatever. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that God chooses who he will to do his work. Jesus said, I will build my church. Uh, his church is not of this world. It is of the, the Father's kingdom that is in heaven. And the problem is people build their kingdoms down here. Um, I wasn't able to go to college, for instance. I had uh, severe learning disabilities. And although I had probably the highest IQ of my family, I always felt a rejection from the ones around me. And I'm realizing this is because I am indeed the Lord's. Because if they hate Christ, they'll hate you also. Because if Christ resides in you and moves in you in his Holy Spirit, the world will reject you. And the re a religious spirit in human beings is a very powerful thing. Of course, it's all based on self-righteous pride and uh, look what I'm doing for the Lord and that type of thing. But the Bible tells us that God chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He has hid these things from the rich and prudent and revealed them unto babes. It also says we are of the offscouring of the world. We will be rejected for his namesake. And this is the thing that is truly the mark of a Christian. Are you rejected by the world? Are you rejected in the church body? I... Um, when I went through my deacon and elders course at my particular uh, church, excuse me, um, the Lord was, the Holy Spirit was able to speak through me in power and I could, uh, he brought to mind all the theology that I, I was taught, all my church history, all the proper doctrines, and the Holy Spirit gave it to me and I was able to speak it and, and then, and I've told this before, but they would go back in their chairs and their eyes would get really big and they're, you know, Really, what they were thinking is, how can this guy teach? How can this guy know these things? Because of the idea that you know you're off scour, you're a reject of men, and that is the spiritual condition of it. And despite knowing all these things, um, I was still uh, an off scouring some somebody that they didn't want uh, as a leader, in particularly they. Uh, they kind of patronized me a little bit. I gave a lot of money to them, and uh, and I knew, I, you know, I did all the courses. I did the the Blackaby course that I've said before in my other videos, without even reading the thing. I just went through it and marked it all off. And the reason I could do that is because I do have a personal relationship in Jesus Christ. What Blackaby was talking about, despite, like I said, I wasn't able to go to college because of my learning disabilities, uh, and get. Uh, diplomas uh, from man-based institutions and it always really bothered me but this is because God didn't want me to have success in the world he wanted me to follow him to, to listen and be obedient and move in him and we use the Bible to validate what Christ is showing within us that's all it is you don't make the Bible your God I have one pastor there, I use the infallible word of God. How dare you say that I'm wrong? I'm using the word of God. So he's an academic and he's using the Bible and he's telling me that the, you know, he's teaching, he's telling me the word of God. This is what people think the word of God is. They think it's having an intellectual head knowledge, a filing system of scriptures and being able to bowl over the other guy that maybe isn't so smart or so quick. But that's just ridiculous because it's the, Doctrines do teach us that uh, Jesus, uh, you know, he doesn't glory in taking the, uh, using men like that. That's, that's all their own ability. And I have found that a true brother and sister in Christ is always the downtrodden. 
the rejects of the world. The people that I've found, and I've seen, I've seen demonic activity. I've seen, I've had personal healings on my back. I've seen the power of God, the Holy Spirit move in my life. And I've also fought the adversary, the enemy. And of course it will be scriptural. Everything that you experience when you're moving in and of the Lord Jesus Christ is scriptural simply because the Bible is written to God's people alone. But the problem is people that are not God's people memorize scripture. That, that doesn't make you God's people because you have good doctrine, good theology, or you can memorize the Bible well. Sorry. Yes, we use the Bible uh, to, to uh, prove what is of God and what isn't of God, but you have to have the Holy Spirit in order to prove that. It's not just an intellectual uh, um, function. It's not just a, a function in academia. And this is what the church has made it. And uh, But the people that have the real power of God, the real power of the Holy Spirit that I've always experienced in my life are the people that are often rejected by a church body. They're like Pharisees and Sadducees in the days of Christ. Uh, and it's really, really sad. And if you preach God's word, the power of the Holy Spirit moves through to your mind where you have an understanding, like I've been learning, uh, the Lord's been teaching me about Second Timothy, about um, you know, many will come to me in that day saying, Lord, Lord. And it was all, he's also been teaching me about people that will be captive by silly women. And of course, I'm not, this is uh, 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 7. But he's actually been teaching me that in my experience. As a matter of fact, I met a guy that was trapped in polygamy yesterday. Unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> which uh, I believe the Lord was showing me is the latter part of, of uh, that scripture. But my whole point is, is that God reveals the truth, truth of scripture to you. You don't just cherry pick it in your head. Another, another thing is like these vicars, these women that have clergy collars. Well, number one, the scripture says, if you really use the scriptures, it says spiritual authority is given unto men. Women are but a derivative of man. That's God's creation word. But it's funny because they want to cherry pick uh, of who's uh, um, of the Lord and who isn't of the Lord, but they don't even follow the scripture themselves even though they may, they may be intellectually a lot more capable than a true brethren is. And it's just, a, it's just a real falsehood. It's a real falsehood the day that God's showing me. So um, I just want to encourage people that if they, do have, if they do have God's call in their life, the Holy Spirit, and they will be rejected in their jobs. They will be rejected for the most part, in their churches, they will be rejected of men for my namesake, which is Jesus. Jesus' namesake. You will be rejected because that's the mark of God spiritually on you, and people reject you because of Christ. And it's amazing because these um, Pharisees, they they want to say that uh you know, the true brethren that I know are false teachers and that type of thing. Well, actually, they're the false teacher if, they, if they're not being moved of God and the Holy Spirit in sharing because they're doing it through the power of their flesh. And if you're doing it through the power of your flesh, you are an agent of Satan. You are an anti-Christ. You want people to follow you as being God. But the whole thing is there's no mediator between man and God except the Lord Jesus Christ. So what we have to do if we know him is to learn to be listen and be obedient to him within us and hold the scripture up beside us, kind of like a user's manual to see is this of God or is this not of God. We hold the, the light of scripture up to say, uh, to help us to understand if we're all on the right path or not. That's all the Bible is. Again, the Bible is for people that truly hear and know the Lord Jesus Christ and are trying to be disciples, students of him. But you have to know him and walk with him to actually be a Christian. And most of these people don't know how to do that. 
and it's spiritual because Jesus says he will build his church. He doesn't say anything about man building our church for him. And this is the great trap, the great delusion that I see. And um, so I want to encourage other people that if they truly know the Lord Jesus Christ and they're, they are considered the off-scouring, that that is indeed because most likely you're probably his. And uh, so um, just listen and be obedient to God because we hold the head ourselves. The Lord leads us into all truth. We don't need men to teach us. And of course, um, I've learned this because in my own life <clears throat> because I, I, I don't want to be sensationalistic, but like the pastoral vision that the Lord gave me, which was scriptural. Uh, as a matter of fact, Alistair Begg on Truth for Life um, said that uh, the word pastor is derived from the word pasture, and it's only God who gives a man a pastor's heart. And of course, I had a momentary vision like before of a heart of grass beating within me, and I didn't understand it. Well, this is a spiritual thing, and most people that are not the Lord's will not understand spiritual things because they're not his. They can't hear him. You know, if you're if you're a true man or woman of God, you will experience the Holy Spirit, which is spiritual. Otherwise, you're just a religious uh, church or type. And uh, I find that they're the greatest enemy to following the truth, the greatest counterfeit in following the truth. All right, dear friends, brothers and sisters, be encouraged to walk with him and Spend time with him in prayer as much as you're able. And um, hopefully you can find an elder that uh, knows the Lord and, and can say, well, I've been there and done that and um, encourage your heart. Um, an elder has to have those kind of spiritual experiences. They're not just academics. And this is, unfortunately, this is what man has... Uh, made the uh, modern church to be their academics and uh, God never allowed me to be an academic um, to really to bring glory to him so uh, be of uh, be encouraged be of good heart that we have him now he is with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us bye